All right, all right. So I posted a picture yesterday, I believe, of a, a good peach cocktail that I was enjoying and had a handful of people saying, okay, give me that information. So here's the information. Um, so this one, because peaches finally are, are in season. Peaches and nectarines, I love that when they're in season. Um, I love putting it on my salads and just having it with grilled food and everything. So I, I want to make a drink that's got um, fresh peaches in it. So this one's got some uh, mint and peach and this stuff here. Um, I'm a huge fan of the High West uh, line of whiskeys um, and ryes and bourbons. Um, and uh, they're based out of Colorado. But you can grab uh, most of the High West stuff you could find at Total Wine. Um, I don't remember seeing any at the grocery store, and I don't go to BevMo as much anymore. So, uh, Total Wine, you'll find that. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So, let's go ahead and do this. Um, so, we're going to start with, I'm going to make two of these drinks, and uh, they're going to be in a tall, or a, a good size rocks glass. Um, so, we're going to get those guys out and ready to go. And then... Um, Yeah. All right. So we're gonna start with um, about three large mint leaves per drink. Drop those in there. Um, I already started slicing up this peach, and what I did was I sliced it in half, and then I cut that in half, and that way I could get some nice size um, little wedges for the garnish afterwards. So I already sliced those out, and then these little end pieces is what we're gonna use to muddle up. So we'll save those guys. And then I wanted a little bit more, so I cut off a little bit more already, right? Um, that's about it. So I don't know, you're looking at, you know, three, four, four good size chunks or a handful of little ones, right? We'll toss that all in there, all the little pieces and everything, okay? Get that in. And then we're going to go ahead and do two dashes of the peach bitters for each one. One, two, one, two. All right and half ounce of simple syrup for each one. So, full ounce here. Go. All right. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce lime for each one and a quarter ounce of lemon for each one. So, that said, let's go do half and half. Quarter ounce each. Lime. And let's see how we do with this lemon. Yeah. And a quarter ounce each of lemon. Okay. So with just the juices in there, that little bit of simple syrup, and all that fresh stuff, fresh fruit, we're going to go ahead and muddle at this point. Get that all mashed down in. Those peaches get those mashed in nice. It's so good. You can smell all those peaches. Yep. All right. Now we're ready for the good stuff. Okay. Um, so we're going to do an ounce and a half each of the High West. Um, this is just their bourbon, which is actually really good. I love this stuff. Um, you're about 30 bucks a bottle. Maybe a little more depending on where you're finding it. An ounce and a half each. So that's two and three. All right. And then we're going to go one ounce of uh, peach vodka. It's two ounces. And then we're going to do half, half ounce of Lichardo. Full ounce for two. There we go. And that is it. This thing's ready for ice. Before we shake that up, we're going to add ice to the cups as well. So 
a really fresh drink. It, it's so weird because um, it reminds me actually of drinking a Mai Tai, even though it's so not a Mai Tai. <laughs> but it's just reminiscent to me. We are going to double strain this since we've got all the peach and mint in there. Just about done. And we'll take those little peach slices that we did, just tuck those down in on the sides. Like that. And then some mint. Our store mint is not looking all that super right now, but it still smells good. So there you have it. We're going to call this one the pit stop. So come on by and have a pit stop. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.